Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Our Mox Pearl tier patron, Charles, is back for another game. He is bringing another signature mono white deck to the table, and the team is ready to battle. If you want to be on an episode, consider signing up to our Mox Pearl tier on Patreon. You get all kinds of benefits, and you get to be in a video with us. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Adam, piloting the partner pair of Krark the Thumblest and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This is a mid-range deck that is high risk, high reward. It takes advantage of some very risky synergy with Krark's ability. Adam's opening hand contains a Spellseeker, Back to Basics, Baral Chief of Compliance, Mox Diamond, Steam Fence, and Two Islands. Next, we have Charles, playing the partner pair of Akroma, Vision of Ixidor, and Keleth, Sun Main Familiar. This is a mono-white stacks deck that seeks to stall the game with Hate Bears. It wins by turning those Hate Bears into huge threats with Akroma. Charles' opening hand contains a Ghostly Prison, Pearl Medallion, Deafening Silence, Ghost Quarter, Flagstones of Trocair, and Two Planes. After that, we have Folger, piloting Kenrith, the Return King. This is a proactive deck that seeks to resolve a Hermit Druid and use it to assemble a Thassa's Oracle win. If stopped, the deck shifts into an evolution-based mid-range deck. Folger's opening hand contains a Rejuvenating Spring, Temple Garden, Deathrite Shaman, Reanimate, Ristic Study, Mystical Tutor, and a Baron Master Wizard. Finally, we have Ryan, playing the big red mean machine, Goto, Bandit Warlord. This is a proactive deck that looks to get to 11 mana as soon as possible to cast your commander. Goto then searches up Helm of the Host for an infinite combo to win the game. Ryan's opening hand contains a Mountain, Imperial Recruiter, Lion's Eye Diamond, Mana Vault, Clark Clan Ironworks, and his London Mulligans are Magus of the Moon and a Ricochet Trap. Without further ado, let's begin this hazardous, hostile, hilarious, heartbreaking, historic head-to-head. -head. Ryan wins the craziest prediction for 2021 challenge and gets to start us off. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays a Mountain. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. Ryan casts Mana Vault. He passes to Charles. Charles draws for turn and plays the Flagstones of Trocare. He casts Deafening Silence, lamenting the turn order. Charles ends his turn. Folger draws for turn and plays a Rejuvenating Spring. Folger casts a Deathrite Shaman. He passes. Adam draws for the turn and plays an Island. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding an Island. Adam casts Baral, Chief of Compliance. Adam ships the turn. Ryan draws and then casts an Imperial Recruiter. It enters the battlefield and with a trigger on the stack, he sacrifices the Lion's Eye Diamond. He discards his hand and adds three red. Ryan fetches up a Treasonous Ogre into his hand. He casts Treasonous Ogre. Ryan pays 18 life to add 6 mana to his mana pool through the Treasonous Ogre's ability. He casts his commander, Goto Bandit Warlord. It resolves and he fetches up a Helm of the Host onto the battlefield. Ryan pays 15 more life to add 5 mana through Treasonous Ogre. He equips Helm of the Host to his commander. Ryan moves to the combat, Helm of the Host triggers, and he creates a non-legendary copy of Goto with haste. Ryan then presents a loop of attacking with the Goto token, getting another combat step, and created another Goto token with haste. The table dies to an army of Bandit Warlords and Ryan wins the game. Well, that game was wicked fast, so congratulations to Ryan on his win. Let's go ahead and do another one, shall we? In this game, we once again have Adam piloting Krark and Sakashima. His opening hand contains Aristic Study, Intuition, Frantic Search, Opt, Wooded Foothills, and Two Islands. Charles brings back a Chroma and Kella. His opening hand contains Spirit of the Labyrinth, Thalia Heretic Cathar, Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, Luminarch Ascension, and Three Plains. Folger brings back Kenrith the Return King. His opening hand contains Abrupt Decay, Carpet of Flowers, Arbor Elf, Demonic Tutor, Forbidden Orchard, Flooded Strand, and a Marsh Flats. Ryan brings back Goto, and his opening hand contains Honorworn Shaku, Dwarven Ruins, Sandstone Needle, Stranglehold, Arcane Signet, Prismatic Lens, and a Blood Moon. Charles wins the Snow-Covered Mountain Climbing Challenge and starts us off. Charles draws for the turn and plays a Plains. He passes the turn. Folger draws for turn and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, loses a life, and fetches up an Overgrown Tomb onto the battlefield untapped, losing two life. Folger casts an Arbor Elf. He passes to Adam. Adam draws for turn and plays a Wooded Foothills. He passes. Ryan draws for turn and plays a Sandstone Needle into play tapped. He ships the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Plains. He casts Luminarch Ascension. Charles earns his turn. Folger draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it and loses a life. In response, Adam cracks his Wooded Foothills, loses a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Folger then fetches up a Breeding Pool onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts Carpet of Flowers. Folger moves to his second main phase and adds one green through his carpet. He casts Neoform, sacrificing Arbor Elf, and fetches up a Hermit Druid onto the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it. Folger passes. 
During his instep, Charles adds a counter to his Luminarch Ascension. Adam then casts Opt. He scries one and then draws a card. Then the turn moves to Adam. Adam draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He casts a Springleaf Drum. Adam ends the turn. During his end step, Charles adds a counter to his Luminarch Ascension. Ryan draws and plays a Dwarven Ruins. He casts an Arcane Signet. Ryan passes, and during his end step, Charles adds a counter to his Luminarch Ascension. Charles draws and plays a Plains. He casts Thalia, Heretic Cathar. Charles ends the turn. Folger draws, and in his first main phase, he adds a black through his carpet. Folger casts Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand. Folger activates Hermit Druid. Hermit Druid resolves, Folger mills his entire deck, and Narc Amoeba triggers. Narc Amoeba returns from the graveyard onto the battlefield, tapped due to Thalia. Folger plays a Forbidden Orchard into play tapped. Bloodgast, which is now in his graveyard, triggers, and Folger returns it from the graveyard to the battlefield, tapped. He flashes back Dread Return, sacrificing Hermit Druid, Narc Amoeba, and Bloodgast. Dread Return reanimates Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, and Folger wins the game. Congratulations to Folger on his win! With another quick win for Team PWP, we still had time for another game. In this game, Adam brings back Kark and Sakashima. His opening hand contains a Phantasmal Image, Mystic Remora, Mana Vault, Ancient Tomb, Polluted Delta, an Island, and his London Mulligan is an Intuition. Charles brings back a Chroma and Kalith. His opening hand contains a Tokatli Honor Guard, Expedition Map, Heliod's Punishment, Tithe, Linvala, Keeper of Silence, Thalia, Heretic Cathar, and a Ghost Quarter. Folger brings back Kinrith, the Return King. His opening hand contains a Demonic Tutor, Shadow Grave, Ponder, Reanimate, Chrome Mox, Watery Grave, and a Morphic Pool. Ryan brings back Goto, and his opening hand contains a Blood Moon, Mana Crypt, Pyroblast, Metal Worker, Brass Squire, and two Mountains. Folger wins the foot race and gets the start us off. Folger draws for the turn and plays a Morphic Pool. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Reanimate. Folger casts a Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand and then passes the turn. Adam draws for turn and plays an island. He casts every CEDH player's favorite turn one play, Mystic Remora. It resolves to the chagrin of the table and Adam ends the turn. Ryan draws for the turn and plays a mountain. The table discusses making a fish pact to deny Adam the value from his Remora. Ryan says, well forget that, go to go fast and cast out Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Adam draws. Ryan casts a Metal Worker. He passes to Charles. Charles draws for the turn and plays a Ghost Quarter. He casts an Expedition Map. Folger screams, and Adam draws from his Remora. He ships the turn to Folger. Folger draws and plays a Rejuvenating Spring. He passes. During his upkeep, Adam pays for Mystic Remora. He draws and plays an Island. Adam ships the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Mountain. Ryan activates Metal Worker, revealing 1 artifact from his hand and adding 2 colorless mana. He casts Brass Squire. Ryan passes. Charles draws, saves some expletives, and regretfully passes after not drawing a planes. During his end step, Folger casts Entomb. Remora triggers and Adam draws. Folger fetches up a Hermit Druid into his graveyard. Folger draws and then starts off his turn by casting Shallow Grave. Remora triggers and Adam draws. The table looks to Adam to solve this problem. Adam looks at his hand and regretfully doesn't have a counterspell. The table despairs until Adam decides to respond by casting Thought Scour, targeting Folger. This will mill Folger for two, so if he hits a creature, Shallow Grave can't reanimate Hermit Druid. Folger wishes for some luck, and then looks at the top two library, milling Avacyn's Pilgrim and Brainstorm. Everyone erupts with the insane play that just happened, and then Adam draws a card. Folger passes priority on a Shallow Grave, and then reanimates Avacyn Pilgrim, giving it haste. He plays a Watery Grave, into play untapped, paying two life. Folger casts a Skull Clamp, not paying for fish, trying to help Adam answer Ryan. Adam draws a card. Folger equips the Skull Clamp to his Avacyn's Pilgrim. It dies, and he draws two. Folger casts Ponder. Remora triggers, and Adam draws. Folger looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles, and draws. Folger passes the turn. During his upkeep, Adam pays for Mystic Remora. He draws and plays a Polluted Delta. Adam cracks Polluted Delta, loses a life, and then fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Vault. Adam passes, discarding the hand size. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and plays a Mountain. Ryan activates Metal Worker, reveals an artifact from his hand, and then adds two mana. He casts his commander, Goto, Bandit Warlord. Goto enters, and Ryan fetches up Helm of the Host onto the battlefield. He activates Brass Squire to equip Goto with the Helm of the Host. In response, Adam casts Mog Salvage for its alternate cost, destroying Helm of the Host. With nothing else, Ryan passes to Charles. Charles draws and, once again, doesn't draw his second land. He passes, discarding to hand size. 
Folger draws, and then plays a polluted delta. He cracks it, loses a life, and fetches up a hallowed fountain onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. Folger casts his commander, Kenrith, the Return King. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam pays for Mystic Remora with his Mana Vault. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Vault. Adam casts Mana Crypt. He plays a Command Town. Adam casts Magus of the Moon. Folger cries, and it resolves. Adam then casts his commander, Krark the Thumbless. He passes. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and plays a Dwarven Ruins. Ryan activates Metalworker, reveals an artifact, and adds two mana. He casts Conqueror's Flail. Ryan activates Brass Squire to equip Conqueror's Flail to his commander, Godo. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Godo. Godo triggers, untaps, and Ryan gets an additional combat step. Adam takes four damage, Ryan attacks Adam again with Godo again, and then Adam takes another four. Ryan ends his turn. Charles draws and finally drew what he needed. He plays a Plains and then casts Tokatli Honor Guard. Charles passes to Folger. Folger draws, looks at his hand, and passes. During his upkeep, Adam doesn't pay for his Mystic Remora and lets it die. Also during his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt flip. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Vault. Adam casts his commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. In response, Ryan casts Pyroblast, countering Sakashima. Adam passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Goto, triggering Goto. Adam takes four, Ryan attacks Adam again, and Adam takes another four. Ryan ends his turn. Charles draws and casts Tithe. He fetches up two planes into his hand. Charles plays the planes and then casts Stony Silence. In response, Folger activates Kenrith's ability to reanimate his Avacyn's Pilgrim. Stony Silence then resolves, and Charles passes the turn. Folger draws, realizes he is never coming back into this game, and ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt flip. Also in his upkeep, he pays to untap his Mana Ball. Adam draws, takes no actions, and passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Buried Ruin. Ryan moves to combat and attacks Adam with Goto. Adam blocks with Krark. In response, Folger activates Kenrith's ability to give all creatures haste and trample. Krark dies, and Adam takes 2. Ryan moves to his next combat step and attacks Charles with Goto. Charles doesn't block and takes 4. Ryan ends the turn. Charles draws and plays a Plains. He casts Linvala, Keeper of Silence. In response, Folger activates Kenrith's ability to gain 5 life. Charles then ships the turn to Folger. Folger draws and passes. During his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and casts Baral, Chief of Compliance. Adam ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Mountain. Ryan moves the combat and attacks Adam with Goto, triggering Goto. Adam blocks with Baral, and then in his second combat step, Ryan attacks Adam again with Goto. Adam blocks with Magus of the Moon. In his second main phase, with lands now back online, Ryan activates Buried Ruin, sacrificing it and returning Helm of the Host to his hand. He then crushes Folger's hope of playing magic by casting a Blood Moon of his own. He gleefully passes to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Strip Mine. He casts a Dranith Magistrate. Charles follows it up by casting Heliod's Punishment, targeting Goto Bandit Warlord. This, combined with Linvala, completely shuts down Ryan's board. Charles passes. Folger draws and plays a Yavimaya Coast. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts a Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Kenrith, the Return King. Adam ships the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He draws and passes. Charles draws and plays a Saras Sanctum. He casts Thalia, Heretic Cathar. Charles then casts Sabine's Reclamation, targeting Sanctum Prelate in his graveyard. Sanctum Prelate enters, and Charles chooses two as it enters. Charles ends the turn. Folger draws and passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Adam loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and also takes three damage. He draws and also ends his turn. Charles draws and casts an Oketra's Monument. He casts his commander, Caliph, Sun Main Familiar. Oketra's Monument triggers, and Charles creates a 1-1 White Warrior token with Vigilance. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Linvala. Adam takes three, and then Charles passes to Folger. Folger draws and ends his turn, discarding the hand size. During his upkeep, Adam loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and casts Frantic Search. He draws two, discards two, and untaps three lands. He casts Personal Tutor. Adam fetches up a Twin Flame onto the top of his library. He plays a Prismatic Vista and then passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws, takes no actions, and then shifts the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Plains. He casts his other commander, Akroma, Vision of Isidore. 
Oketra's monument triggers, and Charles creates a 1-1 warrior with vigilance. He moves to combat, and Akroma triggers. Akroma gives his team plus one plus one for each keyword they have, and Charles attacks Adam with Kaleth, Linvala, and a warrior token. Adam blocks Kaleth with his copy of Kenrith. Adam then takes six. Charles passes. Folger draws and casts a Lotus Petal. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam wins his Mana Crypt flip and doesn't die. He draws and casts Gamble. Folger has to roll in order to feel somewhat included in this game still. Adam fetches up a card into his hand and then discards a card at random, which is a dual caster mage. Adam passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Mountain. He casts Anger of the Gods, destroying and exiling the smaller creatures in play. He passes to Charles. Charles draws and casts Odric, Lunark Marshal. Oketra's Monument triggers and Charles creates a 1-1 warrior. He moves to combat and triggers a Chroma and Odric. Charles orders them so that Odric gives his creatures Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, and Trample first, and then a Chroma gives each creature plus four, plus four. He attacks Adam with a Chroma and Folger with Linvala. Folger takes seven and Adam takes eight, killing him. In a second main phase, Charles casts Seal of Cleansing. He passes to Folger. Folger draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He ends the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and passes. Charles draws and moves directly to combat. Akroma and Odric both trigger. Odric's trigger resolves first, giving his creatures keyword soup, and then Akroma's trigger resolves, giving them plus one plus one for each keyword. Charles attacks Folger with Odric, Linvala, Akroma, and the Warrior. Folger can't block and takes 25 damage. In his second main phase, he recasts his commander, Kaleth, Sun Main Familiar. Oketra's monument triggers and creates another 1 1 warrior. Charles plays a Plains. He passes to Folger. Folger draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He ships the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He takes no actions and passes. Charles draws and moves directly to combat. He attacks Ryan and Folger with everything, killing them both and winning the game. Ladies and gentlemen, those were some wild games. Congratulations to Charles, Folger, and Ryan on their wins. Charles did a great job of recovering from his poor start to lock out the table and win the game. His commander, Akroma, is a huge threat, and when not answered, gives stacks a way to quickly close out the game. Ryan and Folger were both able to show off the power of fast combo decks in a pod with minimal blue presence. They both did a great job of seizing the moment and closing out the game. The most valuable card goes to Odric, Lunark Marshal. This creature was able to change the game from Charles being ahead to completely dominating. While this card isn't usually seen at a CEDH table, the synergy with a Chroma to turn your hate bears into huge threats has solidified its spot as tonight's most valuable card. This episode was made possible thanks to Patreon. Do you want to be on an episode of Playing With Power? Charles played with us as part of our Mox Pearl tier. This tier allows you to play on an episode just like Charles did today. There are all kinds of extra benefits as well, so sign up to our Patreon and start getting benefits right away. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, I wanted to give a Patreon shout out to Tyler Hancox. Snarps the Kleft, I think that's right, RJ Johnson, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Brandon Harper, Marcus Tomey, Toomey, Tomey, Toomey, Dustin Maye, Josh, Josh Kovach, Josh Kovach, man, yeah, maybe, <laughs> Baby Jeebus, Mox Rob, Trey Payne, Rakeko, Baskin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wayan, Spilrahu, Road Grode Medflode, CZ, and Nick. Thanks again, everyone. Really appreciate it.